if you want to catch Iloilo City at its most exciting and frenetic form, plan your trip in time for the Nadyang Festival. It is a week-long celebration with highlights on the weekend. It is a world-class festival of street dancing, eating, and lots of nightlife in Iloilo City. The urban developments mentioned have some good bars and pubs where you can spend a night of leisurely fun. Hi guys and good day to everyone. By the way, this is Reactive Square, the Albedo Ilo. And in this channel, we'll guide you in your investment and tour here in the place of Ilo Ilo, whether in the city or outside of Ilo Ilo, for you to know some of its information and details and also of its beauty. By the way, if you are new to this channel, we invite you to subscribe to this channel for you to get notified once we publish new videos. And without any further ado, let's go down to our video. This is where to go and what to do in Iloilo City, a guide for tourists. Keep in mind this is only within the city limits of Iloilo. And this will not include other municipalities of Iloilo province. Hopefully this video will help local and international tourists, especially the first timers in Iloilo City. I spent a lot of time making this video, so give me love by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Okay, first things first, where to stay in Iloilo? If you want luxury and world-class hospitality, stay at Richmond Hotel Iloilo. It's the most luxurious hotel to date. It's located in Iloilo Business Park and the cheapest room will be around $100. Of course, there are cheaper options and that would be Injap Hotel or Go Hotel. They have the basic amenities for half the price of Richmond Hotel. Now, if you are backpacking or just want a clean room with a clean bed and bathroom, you can stay at Ongbon Pension House. For only $10, you already have a bed to crash for the night. Next, where to go to get your needs? Iloilo City is a city with a lot of malls. Wherever you are in Iloilo City, there's a mall nearby. And if you need something or want something done, just go to a major mall in Iloilo City. Ilongos are mall goers and most businesses are done in malls. The largest and most popular mall is SM City. It is located along the Binigno Aquino Road. Now, if you are staying downtown, Robinson's Mall is your best bet. Now for your transportation needs. If you have no one to drive you around or accompany you, the safest approach is to get taxi service from one of the three major taxi companies of the city. These are Light of Glory, GDR, and Forbes. Of course, a trip is never complete without experiencing the local culinary culture. So if you are in Iloilo City, you have to try these local delicacies and restaurants. First and foremost, try the La Paz Machoy. It can be found anywhere in Iloilo. But the best place to eat La Paz Bachoy is where else, of course, La Paz. You can try Bachoy either from Ted's, Netong's, or Deco's. There's a couple of iconic restaurants you should go to. Roberto's and Tatoy's. Roberto's is a Filipino-Chinese food place, and it is a popular joint since the 70s. It is said that they serve the best chow pao in Western Visayas. Tatoy's, on the other hand, is a restaurant near the beach of Villa, Iloilo City. They offer delicious seafood and chicken dishes. If coffee is your thing, you can try the local coffee at Madge's Place, also in La Paz. Now that you're not hungry, here are some sites to see and places to visit. Iloilo City is known as the city of the old and the new. As progressive and urbanized as it may look today, the ancient structures of the past are preserved and pretty much celebrated. There are plenty of ancestral houses 
heritage mansions, and buildings still standing in Iloilo. If you want to experience the hustle and bustle of the old commercial district, immerse yourself in Calle Real, the popular historic street located in the old downtown district. You will see plenty of heritage buildings there, standing old but proud. As for ancestral houses and mansions, Iloilo also has lots of them. Most are just a sight to see from the outside, but there are few that welcome people to lounge around and tour the interior. In fact, some of these old houses function as specialty museums with a restaurant or culture souvenir shops. Caminha Balay Nga Bato in Villa Arevalo District is one of those houses. Apart from the interesting old stuff you're going to see there, Caminha Balay Nga Bato serves Filipino food with an Ilongo twist from locally produced ingredients. Another heritage house you can actually visit is the Yusai Konsein Mansion, more popularly known as the Molo Mansion. It was recently transformed into a heritage museum with a shop for Ilongo delicacies and other native arts and crafts. While you are in Molo, make sure to stop by the Plaza and Molo Church. Molo Plaza is dubbed as the Athens of the Philippines due to the sculptures of Greek goddesses found there. Molo Church, on the other hand, is remarkable mainly due to its age and neo-Gothic architectural design. Haro Cathedral is also a popular church in Iloilo City. Across the cathedral, you will see the old Haro Belfry. It is said that the belfry was damaged by earthquakes in three separate occasions and soon reconstructed and reinforced after every disaster. Now, let's go to the new stuff, the latest urban developments of Iloilo City. Firstly, marvel the ongoing progress of Iloilo Business Park. Developed by Mega World, Iloilo Business Park is considered as a township, a place where you can live, work, and play and shop and learn and almost everything. It has residential condos, a huge mall, restaurants, parks, hotels, recreational hubs, and a lot more. Just a few hundred meters away, another impressive development is also in progress, the Atria Park District. It is mainly an Ayala project which is located at San Rafael in Mandubiao. It has what they call the shops, a lifestyle hub with different commercial establishments such as restaurants, cafes, and boutiques. Another huge urban development called the Iloilo Center should also be mentioned. Even though categorically it is not yet operational at the time this video is being made. The Iloilo Esplanade is also one of the places that you need to visit. It is a beautifully developed promenade alongside the newly rehabilitated Iloilo River. It has coffee shops, restos, kiddie rides, and playgrounds. It is also a great place for jogging and brisk walking. Nightlife in Iloilo City The urban developments mentioned have some good bars and pubs where you can spend a night of leisurely fun. Establishments around major malls are also good night spots. Nevertheless, a huge concentration of Iloilo City nightlife is at Smallville Commercial Complex in Mantugiao. Smallville and its neighboring development called the Riverside Boardwalk has a huge collection of good bars, night restos, and karaoke pubs. These joints are fun yet peaceful, thanks to good police visibility. If you want to catch Iloilo City at its most exciting and frenetic form, Plan your trip in time for the Nagyang Festival. It is a week-long celebration with highlights on the weekend. It is a world-class festival of street dancing, eating, and lots of partying. Souvenirs and native delicacy shops are everywhere in Iloilo City. Perhaps the most popular is the Biscocho House. People on the last leg of their Iloilo vacation or tour would usually buy local delicacies from Biscocho House. So, that's it! Iloilo City is basically a small piece of urban paradise. Touring it is not as tedious as you might think. 
In fact, you can do a thorough tour of the city within a couple of days. Nevertheless, the real fun starts when you want to travel the rest of the province. I'll make videos about them, but maybe some other time. So, if you've been to Iloilo, tell me what you like most about the city. Comment it below. Yeah.